Hi guys, Kay here with In and Out of the Garden, gardening in Northwest Oklahoma, Zone 7A. As you can see, I got the garden beds or the raised garden beds done for the vegetables. It's too early to get those planted out yet, and I'll just be putting tomatoes, um, jalapenos, and cayenne peppers in there. The only other vegetable I'll have is some onions, which I planted yesterday. You can kind of see them here in the soil, but I think I'm going to move them. I don't like them there. Here in this bed where I used to have the vegetables, I've already started planting. Yesterday I planted out um, straw flowers and snapdragons. And I have uh, some more seedlings that I've hardened off that I'm going to get started planting today. I'm not sure if I had the kale planted, um, just ornamental kale, the last video I did or not, but I do have it planted around in different places. And I think I said before, it's kind of an experiment. It'll get too hot before too long and these will suffer <laughs> and probably not last very long, but we'll see. We've had some really nice days. The sun's just now starting to come out. It's been a little overcast, so... I thought it'd be a good time to make this video, but the sun may pop out before I finish. The things that I'm planning, and yes, it's early, but I do have things that I started that can withstand a light frost. So the star, straw flowers, as I said, uh, snapdragons, dora, delphiniums, stock, and echinacea. Oh, and sweet peas. All this stuff here will get planted today, except for some I'll save back for a friend. And all this stuff here in the wagon. I planted out about two and a half flats yesterday. And you can see my yard's still a mess. Um, we have been working. We did not get anything done on the garage or the arbor put up for this wisteria. I do have all the wood for it right over there, but it'll have to wait for some more days off. So I go back to work tomorrow, but I did get the garden beds, the new garden beds out front, in front of the house done. Oh, there's the sun. I got the skirting on the house painted. I got the trim up and the shutters back on. And so I'm pretty proud of myself for getting that done. But you can see I have down here, I did move a couple of the Larkspur, well, a couple down here and a couple on the other end that was volunteer. I moved a Nepeta out here, which is right there. That's the Casmia Nepeta. And then I have some straw flowers in here. But I think the garden beds turned out really, really good. Now I've just backed them with some landscape timbers just to protect the skirting on the house from constant moisture. So I have some, and I don't remember um, where I planted what. I did have a number of varieties that I started of the straw flower. So I'm not sure um, what is planted exactly where, but it'll be a little bit of a surprise. I really just want these garden beds out here to be jam-packed full of flowers and color. I moved a lamb's ear over here, and I'm hoping that kind of fills in that spot. I don't want, you can see the other side here, I don't want them to be matchy-matchy. They're going to have some of the same things in them, but I don't want them to be exact duplicates on each side. So over here I moved um, a piece of Artemisia, and I'm hoping that that and the lamb's ear will kind of fill in, and they'll be similar colors, but different. So some of the snapdragons here, 
it was really hard to save space yesterday when I was planting because I have so much more that can't be planted out yet. But I have to make myself. So I have another nepeta down here. Some more of the volunteer larkspur. Some more straw flowers. Um, some of the ornamental kale. And a piece of lamp there that I um, dug up and divided and put here. But I'm very proud of how the, the house turned out. I, uh, the last time I picked the color, which was the awful green, you, know, you think it looks good and then you realize, oh yeah, no, that's not the color I was going for, but I know the sun is really harsh, but I'm very pleased with the color. Anyhow, so I'll be putting some more things in these beds today. I wanted to do um, two layers of the stone here, and this is a stone that I went and got, picked up at Lowe's, which I think I talked about in the last video. And I also got the wood for the arbor at that time. But I didn't get enough of this stone to do both of these two layers, and I realized if I did that, I was going to have to move the vents on the house, and I didn't really want to do that either, so I didn't buy any more of the stone. I had intended to use some of the stone that was already out here that I had removed from the little circle garden and I'll show you why I ended up not doing that. And it's just one of those things that when you buy online what looks like what you think you're getting may not be actually what you're getting. Yeah, my yard's still a mess. Um, I'm going to try to get things all picked up here today and get all these things planted. Like I said before, I have to go back to work tomorrow. Oh, okay. I was going to show you the stone. I had a few of the stone I picked up at Lowe's, which is this right here. And then this is what I had previously. And I thought when I ordered, I was getting the exact same thing. But these are much, much larger. Um, they're taller. They're wider. They're definitely heavier. And so, now I have all the stone that was in the circle bed. And 11 of the new stone left over. So I'm sure I'll find some place for it to go. It's kind of like the bricks, you know. I use things where I need them. Eh, my big mess. And I definitely need to do some weeding back here. All the beds have been weeded. It's just other areas that need, need some attention. They may not get it today. Crab apple is just about to burst into bloom. The ornamental pear is has a lot of blooms on it. Some of them are really, really large. There was one I was looking at yesterday. I'm like, is that just one bloom? And it is. I know scale is hard to hard to tell. On, on the screen, but it's a huge, huge bloom. The creeping phlox is in full bloom, and it is so beautiful, but it's got to come out. I could save a little piece of it, which looking at it, it really makes me want to, but I don't know that I will. I just haven't totally decided yet. Well, I keep thinking that I'm not going to, but when it comes to actually digging it out, because that's the last bit that I have, I may not be able to help myself. Anyhow, I'm very pleased with um, all the work that we did get done. Oh, and my son was out here looking <laughs> at the garden, these raised garden beds yesterday. I think it was yesterday or the day before, and he's like, are you going to put anything in the middle there? I'm like, well... I was thinking about putting a pot there, but I think the tomatoes will overtake it. It's like, well, how about your little boy statue? Oh, yes, that would be perfect. 
but it's a little too heavy for me to move. So he did move it for me and put it there, and I think it's just a perfect spot. I still have to get soil for these raised garden beds. I ended up buying 20 bags of soil for the, the new beds out front, and we used 18, which I knew it was going to take a lot. And I got a feeling that these raised garden beds are probably going to take a lot more than that. So it's just one of those things that I'll have to get around to. I think I have four or five days off towards the end of the month, but maybe I can get some more done. But today, being my last day off, I want to get all these things that are hardened off in the ground, except for a few that I'm going to save for a friend because I have a lot more that can't can't be planted yet. Um, they just won't withstand a frost. All these things according to their packages and according to my past experience can um, survive a light frost. And we actually don't have any freezing temperatures for the next couple weeks. Or anyways, not on the forecast the next couple weeks. I think spring has just sprung early, and I'm loving it. So, I hope you all are enjoying your spring as well. I think it's going to be a lovely year. And until next time, this is Kay with In and Out of the Garden. Bye.